those windows take you away on a journey, even if it is only for three minutes. Um, it takes you on a lovely journey of fantasy, and you know that's just that's just beautiful. Christmas is all about nostalgia. That's why the windows are so popular because I think they re remind all adults of their childhood. My first memory of the window was travelling into Melbourne in the combi van with the rest of the family and I actually remember tugging on my mum's skirt and saying, Mum, when I grow up I want to do this. This year's theme, Alice in Wonderland, was basically chosen for the illustrations. Rebecca Dutramere has a fantastic style of her own which just seduced me the minute I opened that book. So production actually lasts for a, a complete year it's from starting in December where we choose the concept through to March where we start our actual production of characters and we sort of crescendo in October uh, where we start installation and over that time we use the services of approximately 50 different artisans. I know for myself, my favourite at the moment are the flamingos, and I think come opening they'll also be the favourites. Their movement's very fluid and quite comical. So you know how frustrating it is with a broom cupboard that's too full? That's what it's like working in a set of windows. Insulation needs to be quite orchestrated, and over the 14 days we're in at My Melbourne, we have a very strict schedule, and that's where the magic happens because our proscenium is in place, the glass is there, and the little world that I've created has been contained in a black box um, and, now, and now it's perfect. I just love seeing kids' expressions against that glass. I get to view the kids from the other side peeking through the back of the set and um, just to see their, their heads just, just take it all in um, and the smiles on their faces, yeah, you, you know you're, you've won an audience over.